So after Sage 20 and 14, I was actually pretty disappointed. But, I mean, I like those some of those games though, but they weren't as good as uh, Sage 20 and 12 games. And when I heard the new about uh, Sage 2016 coming out on October 15th, I was so really excited. And on the 16th of October, because I was in on a vacation I wasn't able to play it, then I looked uh, on the Sage games and I was like Say what? This list was so bigger than Sage 2014's wars. So I downloaded all the games uh, and because many people are discussing about Sage right now, I decided to make my own version of review. So welcome everybody, this is Timo64 with his solo voice right there and today we're going to discuss Sage 2016. Yep guys, this really happened, Sage 2016 finally got out. To be honest, I was actually excited to see Sage 2016, because it had some really cool games showing off. Sage 2014 was a real disappointment to me, however. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the games shown off there, but they weren't as good as Sage 2012 games. So that's why I was excited for Sage 2016. I hoped for a bigger and better game list over there. And my hopes came true. Well, it was bigger list, but some of those games weren't really good over there and today I'm gonna explain why. Uh, so welcome everybody, this is Demo64 with his awkward voice right there. And today we're gonna discuss about Sonic Amateur Games Expo 2016. Emerald Ties, pretty original name you got there. Emerald Ties was created by Emerald Team. What can I say about this game? Well, it's a basic game with custom Sonic sprites. It also features Sonic 3 abilities, and you still got uh, to finish the level as normal. Oh god, Sonic is pointing finger at me. Okay, I was wrong, this is really new. Alright, you being serious, this fun game has new level design like where you could see a Sonic game with a ruins level, except for Sonic 3 Blast and Sonic Adventure. So, Emerald Ties has its own enemies, music, and as I mentioned before, custom Sonic sprites. But apart from that, there's nothing really much else to see. I'm giving it 9.5 out of 10, because it has a bunch of new designs made completely from scratch. Well, let's get to another game, shall we? Oh, nice 360p resolution title screen. I might take it. Sonic Mania fan game. Made by Yesman10. Now, Yesman was responsible for many Sonic fan games like Sonic Generations fan game and Sonic Lost World fan game before original game got even released. I played many of his fan games when I was younger, especially Generations one. Yesman was always a special person for me back then. And now he comes with Sonic Mania fan game featuring Studio Polo Zone, Sonic Sprites, and 5 playable. Oh, wait, 5 characters? I saw there were only 3 playable characters. Alright then, it seems he also added Amy and Shadow characters. I can take it. Anyway, 5 playable characters Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Amy, and Shadow. The abilities are untouched for first 3 characters. Sonic can drop dash as he does, however I don't use it really. Tails can fly and Knuckles can glide and climb. Amy and Shadow have their own abilities. Amy can use her hammer to attack. She can speak dash, however, but she can do high jump if you press B while hunting down. Shadow uses modern Sonic abilities. He can homing attack if you press A twice. Boost if you hold a B, and Stomp if you press C while in midair. 
As for the graphics, I'm not exactly sure where Yesman got all those sprites and textures, he probably made them himself or just cut them from screenshots very carefully, but they still look really awesome. It's like a Sonic popcorn machine, old school style Eggman, corner teleporting and even the broken glass animations. The physics have some problems though, for example the platforms have some problems standing in them. But apart from that, Yasmin proved himself again, with yet another good Sonic fan game. I'm giving it 8.5 out of 10. It's really a good game, and it, it kinda feels like Sonic Mania. Now let's ride to the next game. Next game is Sonic and Tails. Sonic and Tails is made by Core Team, which have Blue Core as a main leader. Blue Core was actually known as creator of Sonic 4 Remastered for Sage 2014, which was awkward, but it looks like he is serious with programming now. This fan game has only one level, Sign Coast, which is planned as a second zone in the final game, I believe. The game has a basic Sonic design with Sonic 3 abilities. The music overall is good. However, title screen sounds a bit odd. The level design is impressive. Sonic's blue trail looks neat, by the way. Nothing else much to say about this demo. I've seen the pre-stage demo and it looked very different. So as I can say, the work has improved for good. I'm giving it 9 out of 10. This demo is good, but too short. Now, let's move to another game. Simple Sonic Worlds and not so simple Sonic Worlds were made by Lake Fabbard, the same guy who made Sonic before the sequel, after the sequel, and Corona Adventure. There's nothing really much to say about this fan game. It's not even a fan game. This is just a template for those who want to make Sonic fan game on Clift Infusion. And I gotta say, he's got a really nice template for beginners. Simple Sonic Worlds features test level with random Sonic items and also Simple Sonic Worlds features the same but with a boss battle and character select. Not gonna give it a ranking system because it's just a template but still deserves some feedback. Now let's move to something dank. For example, the game called Sonic Boom and the Smash Crew, made by Metal Sonic 3. This fan game is a ripoff of Super Smash Bros., the famous fighting series with Nintendo characters. I actually saw the gameplay of this fan game like half of a year ago, but I wasn't really interested with it back then. Even if this game is dank, it still controls pretty good. We have Angry Sonic, Annoying Tails, Fabulous Knuckles, Awkward as Hell Amy, and other non-Sonic Boom characters like Shadow and Silver. As weird as it sounds, this fan game features missions where you can challenge yourself. These missions aren't really hard, but still fun to play. You have Gameland missions, where you have 3 lives and you need to get to the goal, and Finding missions, where you find someone with some challenging added to it. I'm giving this fan game 9 out of 10. Even if this game is annoying, it still deserves some attention. Now let's stop janking around and switch to other game. That's a good intro sign. I may take it. Sonic Project Survival. I hope it's not its final name. Sonic Project Survival is a fan game made by Team Survival, which has the Blue Renegade as a main leader who was known as the creator of Sonic Adventure Emerald, which was shown on Sage 2014 as well. Well, I knew Sonic Adventure Emerald for a really long time, since uh, 2013, so of course I was excited to play Sonic Project Survival, and that game was actually really amazing. We only got Sonic as a playable character, but we still can see other characters like Tails and Knuckles in the half world. So we've got three acts and a boss battle. Oh, I see what you did there, Renegade. This game has classic old-style Sonic gameplay along with Sonic 3 abilities and will also have snowboarding physics, which needs some rework because I can barely jump anywhere while surfing. The whole design is really stunning, by the way, so I don't have any problems with that. I'm giving it 9.5 out of 10. Bartman really proved his work again.
Now, there was one yet another Sonic fan game that was uh, yet to be revealed on the event. Many fans were excited, and they wanted to know what this game is actually. And that game became Sonic Utopia. Sonic Utopia was created by Mr. Lunch, Murasaki, Teapot, and Pixie on the engine called Unity. As the description says, and nearly everything in this demo from art to sound to the gameplay engine was made completely from scratch. And yeah, it was really made completely from scratch. I didn't even repeat that if the description says it anyway. This game has beautiful graphics, music, and awesome gameplay. The models in this game are really cute, especially with their animations. And I don't know why, but even on the lowest graphics look beautiful on my PC with a nice frame rate. These are really good news, because as I mentioned before, the graphics look beautiful. You've got custom classic Sonic with custom physics, and you have many ways to go to the finish. This is an early demo, but this early demo is really gorgeous. And when I played all of that game, I was like, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 100 out of 100, best game, best game. I'm giving it uh, 10 out of 10. It's a really awesome game over there. And if you didn't try it, you should. 